Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Just one more gobstone. What do we have here? I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills, and you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is 
any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Excellent. I think you have it. Mine now, Demi guys. Professor, do you? I... I'm sorry. I sense that. Professor. I... Ah. I. Yes, I. I find it. <laughs> I have enjoyed our conversation. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the schools of Zenobia's gobstones. It's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Alohomora. Off on another adventure, are we? Alohomora. Let 
Velio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Alohomora. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you, 
can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it. His experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, 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 stupid thing. Oh. Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now... Why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I need to talk to you. Come here.
Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope.
Revelio. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked... Revelio. ...you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I do the meal. Practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. I should investigate. Revelio. Expelliant. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Levioso. Expelliant. Handy resources. Have Ranrock to blame. Revelio. I know what that means. Merlin trial.
Rebellion. Resto momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Revelio. Rebellio. These rocks have seen better days. Ranrock's hands. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise.
Repair her. Lumos. Expel the armor. Lumos. Let me know, sir. Incendium. Let me know, sir. Revelio. Rebellion. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. I am Bernard Indiai, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? A pleasure doing business with you. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. How can I help you? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroff the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroff and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. What do you sell here? Glad you asked. I sell the finest array of beast byproducts you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? 
Although I admit I didn't choose it, it chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts, and my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. I should be going now. Thank you. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying ones. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. 
But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. 
And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Revelio, up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. more than I'd bargained for. I tried to warn you. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. 
When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. Revenue stations for everything. I've heard the goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Rebellion. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl, and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it what you think? Only one way to find out. Repair it. Descending. Huh. A stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger.
seems these journal entries are from Isidora's travels. A journal entry of Isidora's. I should hold on to this. believe this I can see the undercroft what a daydream because that happens to me too I know it sounds strange but honestly I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore fair enough I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window this has happened before I'm listening I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Alohomora. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Thank you. 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Glad you came. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. 
please do give Dot my love. What do we have here? A demigod. Rebellion. Be with you in a bit. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Say I don't keep a stack shelf. to see you again. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. <laughs> 